Welcome back, everybody, to American Outback here on Farming Simulator 17. Oh, y'all did not see that right yet. Uh, folks, we are, let me get my stuff turned on here real quick. As you can see on the bottom right, we are standing in a field of canola that is ready to harvest. Yeah, that's right, folks. It is ready to harvest. There, all my stuff is correct. Um, I want to show y'all this first, folks. Check it out. That's a Brent 1596. And I have it on a 8530. With the safety bumper for going down the roads and stuff. And, um... Yeah, you can open and close the doors, apparently. I don't know what button does it. But anyway, let's go to the store real quick. And uh, I figure, you know, yeah, I've been wanting some of the Big Bud stuff. So this is the Big Bud auger wagon. That holds 53000 and it was 118000 also like these, but they don't owe hold oh, very much. That big one right there is 28.3. Ain't no way. But I guess y'all have already seen the glimpse of it. So here we are, folks. A big shout out to Kentucky Farmer and a big thank you. This is his trailer, modded trailer. Uh, you have this little panel here and here. That is a design color. You can change it different color than this blue. The gray part and uh, stuff don't change. So yeah. There's a, a curtain side. Refrigerator and a, a wall pusher. And it's got the back attacher. And right there. Go to YouTube and search Kentucky Farmer. And please subscribe to him, folks. He puts out wonderful videos and tutorials. Uh, I should say Let's Play and tutorials. And this is his modded truck. we already seen it. And, uh, yeah. I have two of them, folks. Uh, I think they hold 65000 each. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, you're going to push over. Uh, LB and left d-pad slides it and then uh lb and a i believe opens the back door it's a little slow about doing it but it does do it and that's how it dumps it out the back so so having said that let's go to the big bud here we can uh let's go to the back there lb and left D, same thing, opens it up. LB and down, stand some hype out. I just want to show y'all real quick about this. You know, you can move it up and down. Okay. Oop. You can turn the head that way. If I can get it right without building the camera. And your head turns that way. So back and forth that way. And the snout changes to up and down. You can shoot out further or bring it in closer. This case here, a beginner, and oop, and you can't uh, line up right with the trailers. So we have uh, two fields here that's ready to harvest. And folks. Let's go ahead and go to it. Now there he is. There he is, folks. The Big Bud. 16V747. Big Bud 747. Take a look here on the left, folks, at, at the engine. Look at the fan in there turning. Wow. 
Yeah, then got a little dirty. I had to bring it from the shop to here. Uh oh. Hang on, let me turn that off. Or just turn my phone off. But uh, also check out. I think I've got enough for it. Yeah, i got enough for to pull up. Look right down there at the drive shaft. You go pull forward, it turns. I think it is just so, so neat. You got the backup camera. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I really don't know if they even added that as a function or not. But this is the inside of it. Pretty plain. Got a little buddy seat there. I'm going to say it's got a little lunch bucket area too. For my sodas, sandwiches, bologna sandwiches. Yum yum. But pretty typical, just like a freight liner dash in a way. Uh, and I guess that's your gear shift for your gears and your levers for your stuff back here. Now this does not have a three-point hitch. Oh man, you could at least let the... Maybe this one don't have the hydraulics here. Maybe it should have it really look like it, but... But I have a little something there. Uh, I should open the lid, but one's a fertilizer, and it's there two fertilizers or two seeds. That's the other. Well, same thing, you fold out the pipe. You can fill it without folding the pipe, but uh, yeah. Oh, now, I like this. Now, when I... Hang on. I got my headset on backwards, so the button ain't where it was at. It was auto shut down. But anyway, these hoses disconnect right here. You see a little brown circle on the screen in the center of the screen, folks? From right there, they fold back and go under there when you detach this thing. I think it's pretty neat. They should have done the hoses here, hydraulic hoses or something. Or at least some electric wires. Now, I have not seen no YouTuber done this yet, so that's why I went with this, and plus the money was short. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that was almost half a million, and this is like a hundred something, and that was like almost two hundred something, I think. And, uh, yeah, I think this one looks a little bit big, a little better than the bigger one. Um, yeah. Come on, man. Squeeze it there. And I'm big, but come on. But yeah, I had, uh, let's see, that's about the, the two trucks and the uh, big auger wagon, um, the big bud and the planner. Let's see here. There we go. And show y'all real quick. See how that folds back? I think it is this neater than snot. But anyway, let's see. We gotta get our tractors going real quick. Uh, we got a convoy here. Just she can go up. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta run this up real quick. Um, yeah, let me run this up, dump it, and then. Uh, I'll come back and show y'all the other stuff that's out there in the field that y'all can see. I know what y'all thinking. I know what y'all thinking. Mr. Blue, you cheated in money. Folks, I can honestly say I did. But I am going to tell you one thing. I want to deeply, deeply apologize to y'all folks. Reason for this should be episode seven instead of episode six. All right, y'all know the pig food station mixer there, and they'll off. Well, this is the pig food storage. See that silo king there? You got a little street light. Uh, don't say how much is in it. Dang, I should have brought the other thing with me. But, uh, I think it holds other stuff, too, besides pig food, but I'm not for sure. 
And here is a liquid fertilize uh, maker and a seed maker. Um, your stuff comes out here. This isn't the one I like, so I may be replacing this. Uh, let's go to there. As you can see there, it says uh, resources, fertilizing grain, and it makes seeds. So we run over here. Same thing. Your pipe here. Uh, oh, I forgot. You put your seeds here. I uh, think like wheat, barley, canola. I heard it don't do soybeans or root crops. And you put your fertilize in here. So fertilize and whole grain. And then over here, you get the fertilize that goes in there or into your uh, fertilize spreader. So yeah, we're going to have to be making these things hump. You uh, put in manure here, a uh, solid manure. Yeah, I'll show you what it takes. Uh, solid manure and liquid manure. And that makes fertilize. Okay, um, yeah, that's solid. This is liquid manure. <clears throat> but I also heard that this takes digestate. And I found out from you guessed it Kentucky farmer that uh, now this state is from the BGA plants um, from over here folks a little bitty tiny spot right here this is where we've been mowing but you know it's hard to mow this right here and this area here looks so beautiful for so right in here I'm gonna start putting solar panels I know it probably don't need to but we're gonna cut down these few trees right here and maybe a couple trees up here plan on putting a windmill up there and some solar panels down here and I might cut down these trees right here also cuz uh, yeah just cuz we can right and uh, of course, uh, you know, potato sugar feeds, canola, sunflower, and then this is your whole grain, folks. But I, I don't know about corn and those things down there, but yeah. Um, is that it? I think that's it, but uh. Hey Betsy, Rosie, Posey, Dozy. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, that's the new things I bought. Cows, 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 cows. And uh, this thing is off right now because I ran off out of grass, I think. But I got one hundred twenty thousand seven hundred fifty sellage in this thing or yes yes i'm sorry i almost messed up this is sellage that comes out of here and you go over here and put the sellage in here that way all you gotta do is worry about straw and the grass but uh also this look get around these poles this area here 48,363 liters of Digestate, which goes in that thing way over there that I was just showing you. So yeah, and a uh, couple of things here, couple of things. I don't know what this sign means, folks. I'm gonna have to translate that. It's what. K E I N. Oh, yeah. Yeah, same on both sides. But what this is, the sign stops the milk sale. So the cows can't sell milk at midnight. Alright, well, your milk goes in this thing. That's right, it goes in this. 
there. Flash them. Thought when I was back here it was flashing, I don't know. But uh anyway. Um say the fastest way of getting over there. Oh look, I hit right on the truck. Alright folks, we are here at the Animal Place. And I thought, you know, it would be kind of cheating. Oh, oh, big bull. Oh, big bull. Wait, wait, wait. Bulls don't have titties, do they? No, no, they don't. But, oh, thank you for your ladies. They making me good milk. But anyway, I wanted to go over here and show you. Well, right here is the sale point for milk. So we'll bring it from the shop up to here to sell. And while I'm here, um, great, I don't know what I don't have. <laughs> uh, I do have a demand for um, barley, but I've seen it a little bit higher than that, folks, so I haven't sold any. So, yeah. Um, oh, wait. I wasn't going back out of that. It's going to go to the animals. And, yeah, this is messed up, folks, because I got the mods. Uh, but at least the zone is zero. And here's our information I got 53 sheep and 103 cows. So, yeah, as you can see, I got quite a bit of liquid manure and solid manures off the cows already. And the milk is 27,000 liters already. So that's good. And I want to get some pigs, start on them. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, the pigs are stable enough to go ahead and start buying. And you can see the sheets needs water and they're not very clean because I've been fast forward time and stuff trying to get the money built up. I had to fast forward time, get the grass to grow, mow the grass, bale it, sell it. So yeah. And folks, one thing about this right here, sellage hay and power food. You see how it's even? You want to know the why it's even like that? Do not put hay into your cows. Do not put hay in there. Put power food. Because when you put power food, it automatically puts the hay and silage in there. So whatever power food you put in there, it's going to be even with this. And I'll, I'll try to show you all here pretty soon, but we got to get started on the harvest here quick. I got to clean them, but I dropped a whole load of straw right where they need to be cleaned. So that's going to be fun. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some pigs while we're here. Uh, yeah. Um, well, pigs. Uh, by I'm not going to be able to get very many because well, I got $7,000. God, is that all? I want to get at least 10. Can't get 10. Uh, um, let's get 9 and go from there. We need some money anyway. Alright. Um, before we get that going, let me just go... Whoa, what's that about? Yeah, here we go. Got my beacons on. Let's get a little of this box. We gotta get these guys working, making us some money. So they're sitting here waiting on us. All right, I know what y'all was thinking. Y'all thinking like, why in the world 
do not go across the railroad track. Well, folks, it's a whole lot easier, and with the way these equipment are, as wide as they are, we're going to have to make it like our farming road. So I'll go ahead and leave that in there and pull this one up down here. I do have another grain buggy. And one of these days I'm going to have to reset these combines so they'll be back to back on each other. Somebody in there jamming? <laughs> Alright. We're going to have Jason Boo on the combines. Um, I can't remember who on the subsolars. I think it was uh, Maurice on one of them and Colin was on the other. We also got Matthew and Michael that's going to be probably helping us. Oh, great. Let's see, I know y'all hate this. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to show that left side. Uh, okay. And like I said, I don't know why I have to do that twice for it to work. That's working. Let's run up. <coughs> Dang, I do that every time. Now we get him started. I wish I thought to bring that other auger wagon up here, but uh, I think it will. Oh, crap. Get my buttons mixed up. Now, he's going to work in a circle. Alright. <clears throat> Dang, folks. I'm trying to lose my voice here. Nah, I forgot to take the auto headers off too. Alright, let's go ahead and get him fixed up real quick. Uh, left side, we just want to put that on. And, okay, again. How's the worker? Oh, we popped right to it, didn't we? Uh, they're going to be okay for a minute. We need to go and check on the plows. Ah, that's just it right there. Yeah, I got Maurice and Colin working. I need to catch him when he gets down the end of them. Shoot him over. Oh, that wood figure. Don't have no sunflowers. I put them all in the pig food mixer. Uh, let's go ahead and well, we're gonna take it off of him. All right, just gonna have to watch him. And as you can see right there. They're going to need cleaning, but we might wait till the next episode. And here's uh, our corns ready too, so. Oh yeah, they should knock that out in no time. I know we probably won't need both these trucks, but I do think that other field is wheat or something. Oh, I 
I zoom up on these tracks here. I just, I look. If I had my own farm, I'd have about six of these buggies. Or at least four of these buggies. And four of the little bit smaller buggies. See, where are my combines at? 25 and... 50. That should be my 51. Since these fields are square, I'll probably go ahead and take the the AI extension completely out so we don't use it on this. One. Well, at least the detail works pretty good. As you can see, it's almost down in there. All right. Well, folks, I'm going to try to keep it kind of zoomed in like this. I don't like it being zoomed in. And I like to see the whole picture. But I know how y'all like it and stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull Boo out and put her in the other field. Oh, come on up here. Ah! Alright, well, that's doing that. H. Or control H off. Okay. And then I think I can go control G. Yeah. And I'd be a little bit faster. And you still have to do a bunch of stuff, but. All right. Go on over here and see what this is. I wish he bushes was he can clear them out, make like an entrance here. Now, if this is straw, I want to lay straw down since we got a lot of cows now. So, let's get my computer up here and we want to enable so it's already on. And, uh, okay. That's hard worker. Shall we? Um, oh, man, we got soybeans. Okay, that'd be good, though. They run 15 mile an hour in soybeans, though. So we just, just part of it. Oh, got to, uh, Okay, yeah, okay, that worked out pretty good. Maybe we'll have time to drive this guy back. the chicken coop and I really don't know where that was it over there they got it straws on this side I gotta remember that well I still got that area and an area right over there for grass folks plus the sheep and plus over there so I didn't lose too much for dropping that field Alrighty. Let's see if I can back this mug up in here. Oh, look at there, like a pro. Good, it's got enough room, too. 
Hello, the pigs. Confirm. Yes. At least I don't need nothing for them. Ha! Good. Good, they're good. Well, I ain't recognized from up yet, but yeah. Alright, we got to, uh... Swing around like this. And I'm going to go ahead and see. Oh, look at there. Pops that up. Okay. Right here. Turn that off. Okay. It's Control H, and it won't take the stuff away. All right, Jason. sure I'm over you. Alright, while well, he's dumping. Okay, he's just about full, but we gotta catch his tractor real quick. I think the spur is going to be good. Alright, let's go over this side. I don't know how far it's going to go down, but yeah. Oh, we don't have where we're at. He's out of, out of his stuff. All right, Jason. Um, trying to find other other combines full. So, okay. That's good, that's good, that's good, because that's why we got two trucks. Whoa, I gotta pick that up. I think I like it up all the way. I know I probably should have had doors on this tractor, but I want them off because of this reason right here. But I think if I put them on, I would have enough room where it looks. As you can see right there, we can, oop. yeah, whoop, we do, we do. We can turn it that way, or we can turn it that way, uh, which is neat. I work with got a boy, a guy named Jesse, and he uh, runs the heck out of these buggies. He's a good guy. On. And he can take that and twist it back and forward and put the beans right where you need them. Alright, we're going to go down here and get uh, blue. Tell you what, we might just empty her out and finish the through that she's on and go ahead and take her over and get her started on corn. Because that other combine should come pretty much where she's at. Mm, 
19,000 canola. We're going to take this to the shop real fast, folks. Um, see if I can do this again. I need to make some new ones. Uh, market to farm shop. Market to farm shop right there. And stop at the last. That now he's gonna do. It. Yeah, I know you block. Hang on. One thing at a time. Mr. Blue can't do everything. We had Larry bring the uh, truck over here, so uh, well, let's see how well this combine dumps into this Kentucky trailer right here. If I don't hit that pole, and I hit the pole. Well, pretty good clearance. That's about right. All right, good. Let's see. And I'm going to park this right here. And let's grab this uh, truck real quick. Oh, look at there. Stop driver. Clear that out. <clears throat> I want to take this to the pigs. Oh, Lordy. Y'all did not see that. Zoom in here. All right. Yeah, my camera's a little different. All right, we're going to unload. Doors swing open, and you can see the floor is like a conveyor belt. And all right. I'm going to take this well, over to the corn trail. Oh, I'm going oh. Okay, so it won't fit under the pipe there. So we're going to have to watch that pipe too. Now, what are you doing around my shot yard, folks? We're going to park him over here on the road about right in here somewhere. Shouldn't be nobody coming. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. Yeah, let's see, that was Jason. It's pipe out. Oh, put your pipe out. Oh, you would be one of them. All right, we need to move this guy out of the way because we're going to get some fertilizer. 
listen to that sound folks uh, of course I don't know if y'all can hear a sound or not I gotta work on that I'm wishing I had some donations to help out on it but I think if I get the Elgato cable it will work because you plug it in Elgato then you plug it in your controller and then you plug it in your headset and whatever your headset uh, says or you know whatever you hear in your headset is what the Elgato will record so your fast it'll be done before you reach to the end drop that header down all right hire worker and what I'm going to do is go ahead and dump these uh, beans out into that truck and, uh, oh man, don't you do that. I want you to stay up, okay? Up position, like that. Now, I think these trailers are better than the 200,000 ones. Whoa, that was lucky. Uh, he's probably down there done so I don't have enough money to get the uh, corn header so oh wait a second I, I forgot about something yeah hang on let me uh get him in position here him up back him up some and dab around dab 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 around come on slow poke I love this truck oh folks I really do Could minus the tire on top, but I like it. Oh, we got looking at the time. We're almost out of time. That's not good. I had more plans. I'm going to go ahead and control F. Control F. Yeah, follow me to. Nope, 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 no offset. Back up. Why you want to ram folks like that? Oh, that's perfect. Wasn't even that much in there. All right. Well, okay, so I uh, can't get next to it. That's my fault.
Alright. Okay. And that's all on that. And all of those are good. We're going to run over here and get the other red truck. But before we take off with the truck, yeah, I'd buy this for a last two, so that didn't help none. Um, Control H. Oh, that's off. Why did that? Let me circle around, get lined up better. Maybe it wasn't right when I hit it. That should be the distance right there. There we go. And close that out. He's doing good. Um, so they did miss that spot in the middle. Okay. All right, folks, they're all going to follow me. We're going to take them back over to the cornfield, but we're going to stop right before we get there. Um, I, I want to show you all something before I end the episode. Whoa. Okay, don't stop on the bridge. That's not cool. Why is the rest of them not following me? Oh. That's a good reason. All right, mister, don't you make the same mistake. Oh my god, everybody's hitting each other. As long as they don't run off in the water, we'll be good. Gotta say, done pretty good this time. All right. Now I'm just gonna stop the rest of them there. For a time being, we're going to get this gentleman working, and then we'll take care of the rest of them. But before we take care of them, I'm going to show you something that I found out uh, today, matter of fact. 
and today is Monday, in case y'all wondering what day this is. Well, actually, it's Sunday night, but you get the picture. Now, who do I want to stop? I see. I'm going to take this truck. We'll probably use this for auger wagon. Um, all right, what I found out, folks, is I don't know how I really found out about it. I was just pushing buttons and it popped up. And I just happened to push, you know, one button at a time to see what they would do and check this out okay check this out i hit the end button e n d which is kind of like on your right side of the keyboard right above your arrows i hit it look what pops up it's the credit union of well i ain't gonna pronounce it i know i'll get it wrong thank you for choosing the credit union to manage your account your account balance yeah, loan, bank line, wealth, uh, loan details, um, your loan, loan value, base rate, interest sum, a life of loan, you got like so many days, loan active since, overdraft period, overdraft interest. So, yeah, it's like a real bank, so. Uh, you do finance history and let's see let's go home it, you even get field management and you sell your fields if you don't want them and I guess that's what you paid for them and that's what you'll get for them so yeah but uh so I'm going to go back home. I'm going to go edit loan. I added up two fields. I can't remember. I think it was 100000 No, it would be more than that. Because that one field is three something. The other one was four something. So it's seven. Be eight by 800000 so I'm going to take out one million. One million dollars. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy some more pigs and sheep with what's left. So, um, now let's, let's see this. Well, I guess it wasn't there, was it? Oh, base rate is five percent a day. So life of a loan is thirty days. So we got thirty days to pay this back. Overdraft period is five days. Overdraft interest is twenty percent a day. Loan fees is twenty thousand. So what, is that 20000 a day? Five percent a day, so 20000 would be about right, I think. So about 20000 a day is what would be charged. So you can borrow, repay, take out loan, take it out. And bank loan, loan value, interest sum, uh, overdraft interest. So we got 30 days to get this payback, folks. Our bank balance. Whew. Okay, lead bank. Before I, I go... I'm going to run over here real quick. I'm 
As you can see, field five is sunflowers. And it's ready to be harvested. And it's $490,152. So we are going to buy this field. Yay, we are found owner of a new field. So I got $485,000 left. What is this? Panola? Oh, man. And this here is wheat. And it's still growing. It's 42%. So. who that, that pause right there. It's auto save, folks. And it scares the bonkers out of me. Okay, this is that one that. You, oh, there we go. $360,104. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a field of wheat. And what we get off these fields will probably save a little bit for the cow, I mean, for the pigs. And. So, I, so now we own four and five, folks. One, two, four, five, and twenty. So yes, 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 folks. I really don't know how much time I got because I got some fast forward parts in it. But I usually try to cut off the recording around the hour to hour and ten minute mark. So, uh, yeah. Tell you what, we're going to use our other buggy real quick. Just kind of do a comparison. John Deere versus the uh, Flint. Dual wheels versus tracks. Look about the same size, but that Flint holds a whole lot more. So we'll probably end up getting two of them. Now this is down, way down the line, folks. You see the John Deere just don't quite look right. But it's still a good buggy. But it don't hold that much either. It only holds. There are a lot of them here. For, it holds 45,000. So it's pretty good. But folks on those other fields down there. On field 4 and 5. They're going to be um, probably mainly soybeans. And I don't know, like half soybeans, half canola, maybe. Alright, here's our truck over here. We'll dump this and then uh, we'll see. We might just keep it. I don't know. I don't think it's going to fit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. See, it's not going to fit. Yeah, make me a liar. It, it, it's close. It's going to rub the sides. But let me get over where it's supposed to be. Oh, see, it hit right there. Okay, it's going to have to go, folks. We'll get another one of those flints. It won't be right now. I see you can't see the stuff coming out of it either, so. What I'll probably do, we'll... Uh, run this up there and, and trade it out while we got the money and then uh, the rest of the money will go towards the animals 
Oh, why are you skipping, boo? You're leaving some on the ends. But, right, folks, uh, if you like these videos, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. That way you'd be uh, aware of every video I make if you turn on your post notifications also. So hit the subscribe button and then that little check mark button beside, or not check mark, it's a bell symbol. Hit that bell symbol. And then uh, it'll be a check mark box you have to click on, hit save, and then it'll look like it's ringing. And then uh, you will receive all my notifications of my videos. So if I'm having to say that, I just want to say thank you. Um, I'll probably go ahead and get the pigs. I'm going I'm to go trade this out, bring it back to the shop. Or actually down to field four or five. And then uh, take what's left of the money and buy pigs. I'm probably going to save a little of the money. And what's this? Oh my god, what happened to you? Uh oh. What did happen to you? Oh my god. We have troubles. We have troubles in the outback. Call record. Call ambulance. You okay? Who are you? I can't see you. Michael? What happened, man? Roll down the window. Oh, look at him, folks. Look at those hands. He, he's got a death grip on those hands. And he's stuck in reverse. Oh, my goodness. All right. We got to go, folks. I got to call an ambulance. I got to call a PD. Oh, no. Whoa. This is a bad bridge. Boards are caving in. All right, get off this bridge. We can't use this bridge no more. All right, folks. Till next time, I will see you later. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, and share me with your friends. And we'll see what happens to, who did I say, Michael? No, Matthew. We'll see what happens to Matthew next week. And I don't know Stay tuned. Bye.